Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some animated font awesome icons using JavaScript. Now, if you don't know what font awesome is, you should definitely check it out. It's a huge iconic library or toolkit where you can add literally hundreds uh, or maybe even thousands, uh, just a lot of different icons using just um, CSS classes. All right. All you have to do is import the, the, the font awesome style sheet and you can do that remotely through a CDN. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to apply icons to an element through JavaScript. And then we're going to set a timeout so that we can make it so that every whatever two seconds we can actually switch out the icon and we can give it an animation effect. All right. Which is something that I actually just learned how to do and I think is really cool. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. All right. And it's not advanced. It's very easy to do. Um, there's not too much JavaScript we're going to need to do. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. Hopefully you enjoy it and let's get started. All right, guys. So I have a blank folder or not a blank folder. I have a folder called Anim Icons and a blank index.html file inside of that. That's where we're going to be creating our project. This is the only file we're going to need. I'm also using the Atom text editor and I'm using a plugin called Atom Live Server that allows us to just open this folder on our local host. And of course, you don't need this. You can just open up index.html right on your file system. So I'm also using a plugin called Emmet, which will allow me to use HTML shortcuts. Um, for instance, if I put a, an exclamation and then hit tab, it's going to give us a basic uh, HTML5 layout. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to need to import font awesome. Now you can download the files and include it in your file structure if you want, but I'm just going to use a CDN. So I'm going to search for font awesome uh, CDN. And we're going to grab this first result here. And this is from uh, bootstrapcdn.com slash font awesome. We're just going to grab this link and go to our HTML head area. And let's put in a link tag and just paste that in the href attribute. Okay, so now we have font awesome linked. For the title, I'm just going to say uh, animated icons. All right, so. There we go. Uh, let's reload. And you can see in the title it says animated icons. So this is now showing in the browser. Now, what I'm going to do first is just show you how to simply add an icon. And most of you guys probably know this, but we can have an element such as a div uh, and we can give it a class of FA. OK, now I was able to do dot FA tab. And, and what it did was Emmet, which is the plugin I'm using, gave me a div with the class of FA. OK, so you'll have to install Emmet if you want to use shortcuts like that. Otherwise, just type this out. Now, um, what we need to do that by itself isn't going to do anything. You'll see it's still blank. We need to apply a class for a certain icon. And if we go to the font awesome website and we go to icons, it gives you all the different icons. And let's say you like. Um, what's the one I want chain? Uh, right here. So if we click on this icon, it'll show us the class that we need to use, which is FA link. So let's go ahead and add in a class called FA link and we'll save that. And you can see we get the chain icon or the link icon. Uh, now I want to make these bigger so you guys can see them better. So what I'm going to do is just add a style up here. All right. And um, I'm actually going to give all these divs that I that I put in here an ID. Let's call this chain. All right. And then we're just going to say ID chain. And we'll set the font size to let's do 50 pixels. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to make an animation of this chain breaking. And we can do that because we have this FA link here, which is the, the regular chain. And then we also have where is it? We also have the chain broken icon. So what I want to do is, is set an interval through JavaScript that's going to make it so that every two seconds the chain breaks. Um, goes back, breaks, goes back and so on. And I'm going to do a couple different animations with a couple different icons. But this is the first one we're going to do. All right. Now we're going to initially take away the FA link. OK, I just want to have a div with uh, with the ID and then a class of just FA. OK, for font awesome. And then we're going to create a JavaScript function. So let's go down here and put in some script tags. And we're going to create a function called uh, let's call it break chain. All right. 
And first thing we need to do is target this div. So let's create a variable. I'll call it chain and we're going to set it to document dot um, get element by ID has an ID of chain. All right. And then we're going to take that chain variable and we're going to just do dot inner HTML. Okay. Now what this is going to allow us to do is we can apply the icon class through um, through this chain dot inner HTML. And if we look over here at the icon, let's go back to the regular chain. It has uh, where is it right here? This Unicode, this Unicode, which is F zero C one. Every icon has this Unicode and um, it's going to be unique to each icon. So what we want to do is just set this inner HTML to uh, we first want to put an amber stamp and then a number sign and then an X. And then we want to put that Unicode, which is F zero C one. Okay, so we want to set it to that. We also want to put our semicolon like that. So that's going to set it to that. So let's save and reload. And it's not going to do anything because we didn't actually run the function. So let's run break chain. Okay, it's not going to actually break or anything yet, but at least we have it on the screen. We have the initial icon. Now what we want to do is we want to set a timeout and we want to say after one second, we want to change the icon to the broken chain. So let's go back to uh, chain broken and notice the Unicode is different. It's F127. Okay, so let's do a set timeout with JavaScript. So set timeout and what that's going to take in is it's going to take a callback function or a self calling function. And uh, we're going to take that chain variable and we're going to say inner HTML. And then we're going to set it to uh, ampersand number sign X and then what is it F127. And put the semicolon in. Okay, and we want to set that to one second. Okay, now set timeout takes in the parameter of the function, and then the second parameter will be in milliseconds the the, the length of time, which we're going to say 1,000 because that's one second. So let's save, and then when we reload, you'll see after a second the chain breaks. Okay, now it's not going to keep breaking; it's just going to happen once. Uh, what we want to do is now set an interval for that to happen every two seconds. So let's go under where we called break chain and we're going to say set interval. OK, and we want to set interval. We want to call break chain. And we want to call it every two seconds. All right, so let's save that. And there we go. So the chain is going to break every two seconds. So we now have an animated icon. Let's just add a couple comments in here. We'll just say um, call or we'll just say call animation and let's see this function we'll say break chain animation. And here we'll say uh, animate every uh, two seconds. All right. So I think that's pretty cool and it's 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 really easy to do. Hopefully you guys understand. We're just basically changing the icon through JavaScript by setting it to the Unicode value. We're setting a timeout initially to one second, changing it to the broken chain, and then we're going to call that function every two seconds so that it keeps breaking. All right. Now, the next one we're going to do is actually I think is is much cooler, and that's the battery charging effect. OK, so you have the battery slowly filling up. And for that, if we go over to Font Awesome and we go to, let's see, let me search for it, battery. You'll see we have all these different states of the battery. So we can implement all these different icons. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to use the same kind of layout, just create a function, call the function, set an interval. All right, so let's go down here and let's say um, battery charge animation and we're going to create a function. Well, first of all, before we do that, let's just add our div up here. I'm actually going to put a line break. We'll put a couple line breaks, paste that in and then let's change this to uh, battery. 
All right, and then I also want that to be bigger, so let's add it to the CSS battery. All right, so back down here to our function, and let's call this um, charge battery. Okay, and just like we did up here, we need to grab a variable or create a variable. So we'll say let battery equals document dot get element by D. And we called it battery. All right. And then the next thing we want to do is set the, the initial icon. So we'll say battery dot inner HTML equals and uh, we want to set it to the Unicode value. So we're going to do ampersand number sign X and let's get the um, let's see. We want battery zero to start with. So it's F244. So F244 semicolon. So if we save that and we go back and reload, it's not going to show because we didn't call the function. Okay, so there we go. Initially, we have an empty battery. Uh, charge battery, let's just say run animation. Okay, so we initially set that. Now we need to do a set timeout. Just like we did above, which takes in a function. All right, and then in this function, we're going to just change the Unicode value. So let's copy that and then let's check out the, the, the actual icon we want, which is this next one, which is like a, a one bar. And that's F243. So we'll change this to F243, which is just the next one up. And let's set this for, um, let's see, we're going to set this for one second. So right here, 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. All right. And then what I'll do is copy this set timeout, paste in another one. And then the next icon we want, I'm guessing is going to be 244. Let's just make sure. Um, oh, 242. Oh, okay, it's going backwards. 242. And then that we're going to set to two seconds. Otherwise, it's going to happen the same time as this one. Okay, see what I'm saying? So let's copy this. This one will be 241, I'm guessing. We'll set that for three seconds. And then we want uh, one more, which will be, is that, yeah, 240. And we'll set that for four seconds. Okay, so now we should have the battery charging effect. If we save it, it'll run once. Okay, so it fills up and it stays there. So in order for it to repeat, we need to do the set interval. So we'll say run uh, every run animation every what did I do five seconds. Now you want to do five seconds because the whole entire thing takes four seconds. Okay, so we'll say set interval, run charge battery, and run it every five seconds. So let's try that out. Now it should just repeat when it's done. There we go. So that is pretty cool, I think. All right, the last one we're going to do is an hourglass, uh, an hourglass effect. So what I'll do is copy this and paste that in. Let's change the ID to hourglass. And we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. We're going to go down and we're going to um, create the function. So let's say um, Hourglass tip animation. We'll say function. We'll call it hourglass tip. It doesn't actually tip. It's just going to kind of fill up or, or, or drop down. And um, let's go ahead and do same stuff we've been doing. We're going to create the, the variable and then we're going to set the icon. So let's say let hourglass equals document dot get element by ID. Okay, has an ID of hourglass. And then we're going to take that hourglass. 
and we're going to say dot inner HTML and set that equal to the Unicode. So ampersand number sign X. And if we go to let's see, is it called hourglass? Yeah. All right. So we're going to we're just going to do. Uh, I think it's this one. F two five one. Yeah, that's what we're going to set it to initially two five one. And just to make it show up, let's call the function. What the hell is that? That doesn't look like an hourglass. Did I do that right? Uh, two, oh, it's not two five one. It's uh, F two five one. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is that thing? There we go. All right, and let's make it bigger by just adding the, the CSS class up here. All right, so we have our initial hourglass, um, which is yeah, is that one, and then we'll do our set timeout. And let's see, we're going to take the hourglass and we're going to set in our HTML and we're going to set it to 252. Let's copy that and we'll change that to a two. And then we're going to do one more. I'll just copy the set timeout and that's going to be 253. OK, and then we need to just um, Actually, let's run that. It should do it once. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't set the actual seconds. So this first set timeout should be one second. The second one should be two seconds. There we go. So you can see it's fallen down. Now it only ran once, so we need to put our set interval. Is it two seconds, uh, three seconds? We want three seconds because this goes to two. Set interval and we want to run hourglass tip every three seconds. All right, so let's save. Hourglass goes down, it's three starts. Good. So now we have three animated icons using JavaScript. So this is um, obviously this as a whole isn't a project, but you could use this in your project if you had like a, a website or a website theme that you were building and you wanted to have like three boxes with these icons and some text and you know stuff like that. It, it's just something to add something to know how to do to make it a little cooler rather than just having the static still icon. All right, so that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I know it's a small project, but um, a lot of you guys seem to like these small projects. Let me know if you do. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, follow me on social media, and I will see you next time. So if you guys really like my videos and you learn a lot from them and maybe you have a couple extra dollars to spare, check out my Patreon page. I'm working on creating special content for patrons. You also get special deals on future courses and there's even an email support tier for all YouTube videos and projects. To learn more, visit patreon.com slash traversymedia.